Just your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? I see a lake. I see a lake. Very good. Describe this lake for me. It sits at the base of some hills. There's green fields and shrubs mm -hmm. in the distance up against the hill. Very good. And as you look at this lake, what time of year is it? Look around. Is it cold? Is it warm? It's warm. It's warm. Very good. There are bugs. Mm -hmm. So as you look at this lake, I'd like for you to focus your attention on yourself. Do you feel that you have a physical body by this lake? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to look down at your feet and tell me, what did you see? My feet. Yeah, my feet. Very good. So as you look at these feet, how old do you feel in these feet? Thirty, forty. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what's at this lake. I'd like for you to begin walking around and see what the importance of this place is. Describe to me what you see. I'm walking through the shallow shallows of the lake and you can see the pebbles under the water the lake is quite large there is woods along the edge Do you feel that by this lake you're alone? Or are there others around you? My wife is here somewhere. Mm -hmm. What else do you feel around this place? We're visiting this lake because my Great grandfather had land here. Mm -hmm. She sold it. I think this was the place of his dream. Mm -hmm. So while you're at this lake now, making connection with the water, the water is a conductor. And I'd like for you now to connect with your great-grandfather. Allow his thoughts to be your words. Why has he brought you to this lake today? Does he need to tell you? I think he just wants to show what might have been. Mm -hmm. Allow him to tell you what his dreams were. Connect with him now. Could I build a house? Mm -hmm. And a farm? Grow a family. Do 
Now, great-grandfather, these dreams were not fulfilled. How has that left you? I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. It would have been nice. But it does. It does not matter. Mm-hmm. What does matter? What wisdom would you like to tell us today? That everything goes its own way. It is of no consequence. So when one has a dream that is not fulfilled, how should we think about it? There are many other dreams. Mm -hmm. Now Matt starts a lot of projects. Seems he has a lot of dreams himself, and some are never accomplished. What holds him back? What keeps him from finishing these projects that he starts? He loses it loses interest. Mm-hmm. And he's lazy. Mm -hmm. What is the reason that he's lazy? (sighs) It does not seem to be any good reason not to be. Mm -hmm. Take him through one of his projects and let's find out when he loses interest. Take his garden. Mm Built the beds. He put in the pipe. He built the beds. He planted. Another finished. Mm-hmm. water system and much is dried and dead Mm -hmm. so why is it that this creator who has created this beautiful garden doesn't like to tend and finish What happens to him? Gets distracted. Mm -hmm. So is it in the beginning of a project that he gets excited? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the creation. Mm -hmm. Not the maintenance. 
It's the creation that is important mm -hmm. in his mind. He builds it as he sees it. And once it is created in his mind, mm -hmm. it is complete. So, in fact, he is not lazy. He's already done what he needs to do with it. Possibly. Mm -hmm. He's proven to himself that he's been able to create it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's all he needs. Yes, I think. That's the reason the interest mm -hmm. subsides. Mm -hmm. He's already accomplished what he needs to accomplish. He's accomplished what was interesting. Mm -hmm. The creation is the interesting part. So, I'd like to find out more about why he is on Earth doing these things. This is, is this why he came here to Earth? To create things? No. Not, not things. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's here for Experience. Mm -hmm. Has he been to Earth before? Oh, very good. Now, great-grandfather, are you one of his guides? message would you like to give him now that you have his attention? Does Matt need to know? I I brought it up. It has come with reason. Tell him what he needs to hear. Yes, bad boy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's not a lot. Mm -hmm. He is spotted. Mm -hmm. How many guides are working with him? A few. Mm -hmm. You'll see them. Mm -hmm. Who else is working with him? Some are his other selves. Mm -hmm. Something he does not know. They watch you. Mm -hmm. And he's been progressing quite a bit <clears throat> spiritually in the last few years. Yes. Can you give him any advice about that? Needs to relax. Mm -hmm. Needs to find space in himself. Mm -hmm. He is moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Are his guides putting little breadcrumbs for him to follow? Some. Mm -hmm. But it's not about the breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. Tell him what's important. Faith. That's important. Mm -hmm. How is he doing with his faith? He's stronger. Mm -hmm. He needs to trust inside. Mm -hmm. And if he can trust, his faith will grow. Mm -hmm. So one feeds the other. You need to have faith to trust and trust to faith, to have faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. He has a quite a, an analytical mind. How does that fit in with trust and faith? It holds him back. Mm. What can he work on to improve on that? He 
It needs to be kinder. Watch out. Kinder. Mm -hmm. More gentle. It is evaluation. Mm -hmm. Of other people? Himself. Ah. He's too hard on himself? Yes. Yes. About your heart. You have his attention. What are some of the things that he's too hard on himself about? Progress. He is impatient. <laughs> Feels he is not achieving mm -hmm. what he came here to do. What do you say about that? He will achieve what he needs to achieve. But impatience will only hold him back. Mm. Now you told me that he came here to experience. Is he not experiencing? Yes. Mm -hmm. It feels that that is the experience before the experience. Mm. Like the precursor. Mm -hmm. It is time to be patient. Mm -hmm. Patient with himself? Patient with all things. Mm -hmm. Is there any part of his life that he is patient with? For the most part, he is patient mm -hmm. in his relationships. Mm -hmm. He is better in his interaction with the world. Mm -hmm. So he needs to expand on that. He is impatient with himself. Tends to shut down. When things aren't going the way he wants them to go. Mm -hmm. What advice would you like to give him about that? Just keep pointed in the right direction. Very good. Very good. Now, 
He tells me that when he was younger, he experienced a lot of fear. It seems like there was something evil that would cause him to curl up into a ball and close his eyes until it was gone. Do you know what that is? It's just a fear. Would you allow me now to take him back to that time so that we can address what it was, so that we can take care of it? Yes. Very good. So we'll be back to you again in a moment. So now, I'd like for you to go back in time. I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, you'll be regressing more and more. And when I get to number one, you will be in one of those moments when you were experiencing this fear. Taking a deep breath in. Five. Going back in time. Four. Getting younger and younger. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. Allow yourself to be in that moment. How old are you there? Three. Three, very good. Take a look around you. What's happening there? I'm in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Mm -hmm. You can see the trees through the windows. Mm -hmm. What's happening around you? What do you feel? I don't know, but there's something here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it in your body? Or somewhere else? I feel it in my heart. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to use the inner vision that you have. I'd like for you to now connect and scope out this room and find out who's there. You'll be able to see it in your mind's eye. Who's there? It's not in this room. Mm, where is it? It's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. So I'm with you. You're safe. I'd like for you to allow this thing that's coming to finally be there. You are completely safe. And be able I to see. I don't want it to. S don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. You'll see it inside your mind's eye. You'll know what it is. Connect with it. Know what it is. <clears throat> Tell me. What is this thing that's, that you feel in your heart? It's like rep reptile-like. Mm -hmm. What does it want with you? Mm-hmm. 
How do you feel? I just want it to leave. All right. So I'm going to stand right next to you, and I want you to use every bit of energy that you have in your body, and I want you to tell that reptile, no. Go ahead. Stay away. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. Tell me what happens. I think it may be passing. Mm -hmm. Bring up all your energy again and tell it don't ever come back. Bring it up in every cell of your body. Bring up that carriage. Don't ever come back. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that feels. I don't know. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to feel what it feels like to accomplish this. You, being so small, have to hold this very strong power to leave. Check in with your body. What does it feel like? It feels more comfortable. Very good. Very good. So now, let's close this scene. And now let's go to another time and another place where you felt that fear again. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, you'll be there. Five, going back in time now. Four. Three. Allow the images to come. Two. And one. Be there now. Look around you. Where are you? I'm in my room. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself, or is there someone with you? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm unable to sit up. I am on the bed. Mm -hmm. What do you experience? I will experience a bowling. Mm -hmm. I've done this before. Let's find out what happens. Allow yourself to see what happens. I try to stop. Mm -hmm. But I lose... I lose power to control. Mm -hmm. Slip. I give in. Mm -hmm. I give in. And I start to fall. I fall down and down and down. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything you see in slow motion. Where is it that you're falling into? Look around you. It's like a tube, but it's in a void. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it feels like time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. 
goes on and on. I don't know where I go from here. All right. So we're going to know where to go from here now. I want you now to find the destination where it is that you go. Be there now. Where do you go? The place I am now is the table. Mm -hmm. And here I talk to creatures. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this table. Where is this table? Look around you. It's a cavernous area. Mm -hmm. There is dim light. What is this table made of? Look down. stone mm -hmm. and look at these creatures and tell me how many do you see I see three mm -hmm. what do they look like one looks like a man like a man yes mm -hmm. the others are more strange looking mm -hmm. they are not Men, they are, they are demons. Mm -hmm. But they don't talk. Mm -hmm. The man is kind. He's friendly. Mm -hmm. He's reasonable. And what is the reason why you're there with these three? Why have you been brought there? They want me to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. What kind of contract? It's not clear. Well, make it clear now. I'd like for you to use all of your senses and I'd like for you to address these three, and you tell them to tell you exactly what this contract is about. I have to... I have to... I have to agree to give over control. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? Initially, it seems like no real big thing. Mm -hmm. But behind that, there is negative, darker. Assumptions. And but what are these assumptions? My assumptions that that's... If I give up control... Then there really is no point to this life. Mm -hmm. There is... No discussion. So what happens next? We talk. Mm -hmm. We talk about consequences. Mm -hmm. We talk. normal. We talk 
they have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There is no... Discussion to this. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. There is no point in having a life that is controlled by another. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what the consequences may be. When the discussion ends. It is clear that we will just meet again another time to rediscuss and reevaluate. And at some point in the future, you will come around. So I return to my room. Unharmed. Relieved. But understanding that it is not. So now I'd like for you to take a deep breath in, and we're now going to go to the next time, the next time when you reunite with them. See it there. Where are you? It's a dream. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this dream. It is a dream within a dream within a dream. Mm -hmm. Each is real mm -hmm. and as normal as the first I wake up. Mm -hmm. It is my brother's bed. His orange walls. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? I'm in my twenties. Mm -hmm. Tell 20. me more. Mm -hmm. I look out and see the apple blossoms. It's normal about them. The fact that I'm in the wrong room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go downstairs. To get some breakfast and things didn't seem quite right. Mm -hmm. Until things start to seem very disturbed. The walls are cracking. There's... I wake up. There's 
time I'm in my own bed. That was a dream. And I start the day again. As normal. I think today I managed to get a bus to work. But something happens on the bus, it's not normal. And I wake up. This room, this room is my room. It's this is I. I wake up. This is a real. This is a real. This looks real. I wonder if this is real. The day does not last long before I realized that that day was not real. Let me go again. I can't remember. I can't remember how, how many times I wake up. My last awakening. I know for sure that I do not know. That this is real. was different about it? They were all different. Mm -hmm. They were all real. Until they weren't. Mm -hmm. The only difference with this one is this appears to be continuing. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you need that experience. I want you to go higher into your consciousness now. Go even higher. I want you to go ahead and begin connecting with that higher portion of you. The one that does con do all of this splitting up. Connect with the higher self of your being, of your essence, and let's find out. Connect. And let's find out why you have experienced these things. Connect now. Why does Matt need to live these simultaneous dreams, these different lives? Why is he splitting, splitting himself into different days? Connect now with that information. Great grandfather told me that he is here to experience, but he seems to be experiencing some sort of a house of mirrors with so many different lives simultaneously, so many dreams. Why is he going through this experience? This is a test. Hmm. Tell me about that test. See if he will lose his footing. Mm. How's he doing? 
You passed. Hmm. Why is it that you have given yourself this test in this lifetime of Matt? There are energies that are aware of him. Mm-hmm. It is. It is good that he is aware of them. Mm-hmm. And is able to continue mm-hmm. on his path. What is his path? Why did he come here? He's here to hold the frequency. Mm -hmm. As we move towards a new reality. Mm -hmm. Well, he seems to have experienced quite a few different realities within this one. He will be prepared. Mm -hmm. Why is it that he has been chased by these so-called undesirables? I don't want to give them their names, their power. I don't want to give them any power. These that have taken him to this cavernous place. Why do they want him so badly? It's not just him. Mm. You either work for them Mm -hmm. or you work for yourself. Mm -hmm. What's Matt doing now? He works for himself. Good. So he never signed the contract with them? Mm-hmm. Now he said that he saw an orange orb in the bedroom with his sister. What was that orb? It was a that was a more beneficial. Mm-hmm. Quite looking it on mm-hmm. to his sister. Ah, okay. And he just happened to see? Well, she needed him to know that it was true. Mm, okay. Did this orb help him with what he's doing now? With his spiritual advancement? No. Hmm. He is on a another another path to her. Mm-hmm. What is he supposed to be doing? This frequency that he holds? Stabilizing. Mm -hmm. Evaluating. Mm -hmm. Preparing. Mm -hmm. So is that what you would call his superpower? His frequency? It is a power we all have. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What is a power that he particularly brings with him? Does he have any skills or talents that he's using in this lifetime that perhaps he doesn't know of because it's natural for him? His power is a bush. Hmm. Can you tell me more about that? It can be positive or negative. Mm hmm. It is hard to contain. And he is still learning. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to me that he landed in a family where in which his father used that power himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that why he chose his father? Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell him more about that. His father was a good teacher. Mm-hmm. What was his father teaching him? Stability. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Stability in the face of instability. Mm -hmm. Stability of emotion. Focus. So how does he use this, Matt, in his, in his progression spiritually? How does he wield this power? Be useful in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, right now he's <clears throat> doing a lot of research about the new earth. Earth changes. Is this what we're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him more about his role in this change? People will need to center. in face of much anguish and disruption he will be a a more calming influence mm -hmm. when those times Mm -hmm. And these times that we're talking about, is this in this lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about physical changes, emotional? What are we talking about here that we need to center ourselves? It's the energy. The energy? Mm -hmm. If you are somewhat angry, Mm -hmm. And your energy is magnified. It is harder to stay in control. Mm -hmm. And as the energies build, it is more important to be able to center and calm. Mm -hmm. to ground and to love. Mm -hmm. Now I've heard this before and 
been told that people need to meditate, but Matt can't seem to meditate except perhaps taking his cigarettes and spending some time with him. What is the best way for him to meditate? How can he connect with his higher self? Spend more time outside. Okay. So just time in nature? Without shoes. Mm -hmm. Ground himself that way? Yes. So he doesn't need to sit in a, in a position and close his eyes. He could just walk around barefooted. Yes. Good. Good. Now he tells me that he's been feeling more and more ringing in his ears, and it's really not even in his ears, it's kind of like in his head. What's going on there? He needs to trust. He has no reason to trust. Mm -hmm. But he needs to trust. Mm -hmm. Well, his great-grandfather told him that he needed to have more faith and trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should he be using this ringing in his ears perhaps to focus his meditation or not even react to it? It is him. Mm -hmm. It is him? Is it, it is him. It's his it energy? Is a, it is a tone that is like a device to lock on to. He can listen to the tone and use it as an anchor. Okay. Now this, he asked about tones, but are there any colors or numbers or anything else? that he can use also to expand? He knows those answers. He does. Okay. Oh. Give it to him anyway so that he can have it recorded. What's he was connected to nine. To nine, mm-hmm. This color is green. Mm -hmm. Good. And he asks about crystals. How does he know? Trust his judgment. Mm -hmm. Do not follow the box. Mm -hmm. Follow your instinct. Mm -hmm. One day may be different mm -hmm. from the next. Choose. as you feel. Is this the same answer as far as his pyramids are concerned? He wants to know how to use them safely and how they can help him. Is this basically intention? He read that the time of pyramids was over. Hmm. And was told that the pyramid each 
chose to sit within was dangerous. Mm-hmm. What advice do you have for him? Set it up and see. Mm-hmm. See how it feels? You will know if it is harming you. Mm-hmm. You will know if it is amplifying the wrong energies. Mm-hmm. So before he does anything like this, should he consult? with his inner self, his higher self? He can consult while he's doing it. Very good. Where is it that he will know? Is there anywhere in his body that he will know if something is right or wrong for him? He will always know in his heart. Okay, good. Now, he's been doing something with his body now to help him using the hydrogen peroxide treatment. He wants to see how that's been working. adds oxygen. Mm-hmm. We all lack oxygen. It is a method to direct it to his gut. Mm-hmm. Would you do a scan of his body and see? how his kidneys, his kidney is working, has his adrenal glands. He has only one. Mm-hmm. How is the health of it? It's good. Good. Very good. More questions he has is about sleeping. There seems to be an issue with sleeping. He doesn't seem to get enough. And he does a lot of sweating at night. Waking up tired. What's going on there? What does he do in his sleep? He's busy. Mm. It is of little consequence. Mm-hmm. Uh, he travels to many places. Mm-hmm. What does he do in these places? Does he have things that he's doing there also? It is the same. It's the same. It's experience. Mm-hmm. These places that he visits in his dream, he tells me that once he went into one that was very beautiful. Hmm. We took him there. Mm-hmm. Where is this place and why did you take him there? To remind him that he is not all that he sees before him. Mm -hmm. But his many things. Mm -hmm. What was he in that life? He was a dragon. A dragon. Mm -hmm. 
And in that place where he was, was he on Earth? Was he in a different dimension? Where was this? It was not Earth. Mm -hmm. It was far out mm -hmm. into the cosmos. It could be seen as a different dimension. Mm -hmm. Would you explain to me how it is that if he is lying in his bed that he can travel and be a dragon in a different place? We are all energy. Mm -hmm. Your body needs to rest from you. And at night you all You will go to the places that you need to go to to build your experience, to connect with those you love, to enjoy your memories. There's no different for him. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you need to tell him so that he can get better sleep in this time, in this lifetime that he's living now as Mac? Trust and faith, mm -hmm. as it grows, will help. Okay, good. Is he working with any guides that will assist him with this? We are watching him. Okay. But there is a time. We must, uh, and we must stand upon our own two feet. Mm -hmm. feet. So we will guide him, but it is up to him. Mm -hmm. Good. I realize that you did not show him any past lives on Earth. Has he been to Earth before, in a past life as a human? He has been human before. Mm -hmm. Has it been on Earth? Maybe many years. Mm -hmm. show, no. show him a picture of that. Show him a picture of that life so that he can see what experience he had. He has lived in the forest. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see. I see a fire. I see a fire. Tell me more. Uh, 
You resist fire. That's in a small clearing in the forest. Mm -hmm. Is this fire contained, or is it a wildfire? No, it's a. It's a fire to sleep by. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tell me more. He's alone in the forest. Mm -hmm. The fire gives warmth. It allows him to connect. Or is a good focus uh, mm -hmm. for meditation. Can he use that in his lifetime? Yes. Good. What was the theme of that lifetime? Solitude. Mm -hmm. Nature. Mm -hmm. Both plant and animal. Mm -hmm. Has he brought any of those memories with him into this lifetime? Anything that he is using? The animals connect him. Mm -hmm. He needs to work on the plants. Now he was growing a garden and allowed it to practically die, if not all. What would you like to tell him about him working with the plants? It is a first step. Mm -hmm. You have to connect it. Care before you can care for your plants. So are they his teachers? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year he'll do better. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Now, Matt tells me that he's very private and sensitive and self-conscious and finds it so hard to express his inner self to anybody in dancing, singing, etc. I'd like for you to search and find out where this comes from. Is this from this lifetime or a different lifetime? Allow yourself now to search the archives of his subconscious mind and his past lives and see where this comes from. What's the origin of this self-consciousness? Emotion depends on sensitivity. Mm -hmm. It's harder to maintain a sensitive instrument. Mm -hmm. He has grown to be able to talk openly. And express. But has not yet achieved a similar comfort in other expressions mm -hmm. of self. Is that because of lack of experience in a, as a human? Seems he is a slow learner. <laughs> now you showed him a life in solitude, 
obviously if one of solitude in solitude they're not showing much they're just being yes mm -hmm. can you show him where it is that he came from where is it that he brings most of his knowledge from is there a lifetime or a place where he resides mostly just a long time ago mm -hmm. Yes, had to come from another, another density mm -hmm. to be here. Can you tell me about this other density? It is his. It is his home. Mm -hmm. It is very old. Mm -hmm. Why is this density veiled? It will not always be veiled. Mm -hmm. Is it on this planet? Or elsewhere? No. It is elsewhere. Okay. When he is in his home in this density, does he have a physical body? No. No. So is that why he does not have that much experience with this physical body? It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since that experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. There has been much that has happened since. Can you tell him about that? What has? Where has he been since he, he's been home? He has been living mm -hmm. and experiencing the universe. Mm -hmm. He has chosen to come here to perform a role and a task. It is it is within his capabilities. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about the task of holding the frequency for the earth? Yes. Okay. He will see in time that he's ready. And in the meantime, he should relax and chill out. Okay, good. Now, when we talk about cancers, we always think about all of the poisoning in the air and the food and the water. Mm. All this harmful electromagnetic energies generated by technology. How can we protect ourselves from that? You do what you can. Mm -hmm. It is more important. To feel good. Hmm. Okay. And to avoid every single thing. Mm -hmm. So if Matt wants a nice base, big piece of cheese and it makes him feel good, <laughs> he will eat it. <laughs> So, would the body consider that not poison? Uh, 
Almost all things are poison, however, the the intent to try mm -hmm. to eat from the natural selection mm -hmm. is good mm -hmm. and in time it will produce just like many foods he no longer eats today those things you have no control over are of no consequence okay. Good. now when we first started this session we talked a lot about these influences that were taking him and trying to get him to sign contracts does he have any entities that have succeeded in attaching to him that are influencing him now? Let's do a scan on his body, see if there is any movement, any pinching, any shadows in his body that need assistance today. There is a shadow. Mm -hmm. Where is this shadow? In his left hip. Okay. So would you allow me now to address this shadow so we can assist it today? Yes. Very good. So I'm going to take my hand over that area and bring it up all the way up, 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 up. And you can now express yourself. Good afternoon. Are you male or female energy? Male energy. You could speak up so I can hear you. Male energy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, have you had a human body before? Yes. Yes. In that human body, what did they call you? What was your name? Tom, how old are you? Like 35. Mm -hmm. And what year is it for you, Tom? 1947. Mm -hmm. Tom, in 1947, how did you lose your body? What happened to it? Remember the last moment of your life in that body. What happened? I got a tractor. Tractor accident. Tractor accident? What happened? Did you fall? I got crushed. You got crushed. Where did it crush you? Crush my my torso, my mm -hmm. my hips. Mm -hmm. And Tom, once you left that body, you detached from it. What happened? Where did you go? Did you go back I home? I didn't go home. I, I hung out. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you found Matt? It was in the house. Mm -hmm. Was he living in your house? He was visiting. You were visiting? Mm -hmm. Or he was visiting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what made him so vulnerable that you could attach to his hip? Uh, I have been drinking. 
Mm-hmm. So when he was drinking, what happened? He was low energy. Mm-hmm. He was hungover. And it was easy. Mm-hmm. So what have you been doing all this time to him? I just hung out. Mm-hmm. How old was he when he was drinking and you attached to him? Nineteen. He was nineteen. Mm-hmm. So, Tom, have you caused him any changes in his personality? In the way he does things? Hold him back a bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. And what about his body? What do you do to his hip? It would dislocate. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, Tom, when you left that body, you should have come and gone right back home, right back home to your source. Why is it that you didn't do that? I didn't want to leave. Mm. I stayed. Mm -hmm. But you're not accomplishing anything now. It's not your body. No. True. Tom, would you allow me to assist you today? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Tom, when you left that body, you should have noticed a light within your heart. This light is the light that connects you to your source, to the creator that created you. Find that light for me now and tell me when you see it. It's there. Find it. This is a spark that created your life, your essence. Find that spark. I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. It's there. It may be really tiny. It may be just tiny enough to show you a little pulse. But it's there. Find that light. And I'm going to use my own flashlight and I'm going to put it over your area there and see if you could find it now. See a light? Mm hmm. Very good. Now expand that light, please. Make it larger. Expand that light. Amplify that light. Tell me how it feels. Make it really big. Feel that light as it gets bigger and bigger. This is the light from Creator. This is pure love. Feel it. How does that feel? It feels warming. Mm -hmm. Keep making it bigger. Keep expanding that light. Expand it out further. Feel that warmth, love of that light. This is the light that you need to see inside of you. How does that feel, Tom? I feel 
feels good. Very good. So this is what it feels like to go back home. Are you ready now to feel this light? Yes. All right. So what I'd like for you to do is begin detaching yourself from his hip, pulling yourself out from the roots, and tell me when you have completely detached yourself. And as you do that, I'm going to ask Matt to go into that area and make sure that there's nothing left there. If you see anything, I want you to zap it with some white light. And tell me when you're done. I'm done. Very good. So is there anything that you would like to tell Matt before you go home? I'm sorry. Very good. Take a deep breath in, Matt. Are you ready to send him back home with light and love? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So I'm now going to call in my team. This is the group of the Angels of the White Light, I'd like for them to go ahead and surround Tom. Tom, what do they tell you? They tell me to follow them. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and follow them. And tell me when it is that you get back home. It's just... It's just light. Very good. Very good. Go into that light. Feel that love. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, Tom. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and go ahead and put that beautiful green healing light into that hip, sealing it. And at the same time, just spread that light into the rest of the body, making sure that all of the chakras are spinning and expanding it out to make sure that the aura is completely sealed and intact. And tell me when he's done. If you find any other entities, let me know while he's doing that. Very good. Thank you so much. So I'd like to ask, what activities and what methods of cleansing can Matt do in the future? Walking. Mm-hmm. That grounds himself. Yeah, if you can walk with bare feet, that is good, but mm. otherwise, walking in the woods. Okay. Very good. And what about any extra protection? We had talked about doing the bubble of white light. Anything else you would suggest for him? Again, just trust and faith. Very good. Very good. Now, have I missed any questions that you would like to give him answers to right now? 
Anything that else that you would like to tell him? Wants to know why even drinking a little bit can leave himself open mm -hmm. to energies. Mm -hmm. And this is to do with sensitivity. When you leave the door open, then there are energies who will come, but they may not stay. Mm -hmm. And he has he has a positive emotional level that makes it hard for those negative entities that do engage with him <laughs> they cannot stay for long okay. keep a positive outlook Is there anything else, or do you feel that we're complete today? Patience, positivity, and trust in self. There's nothing more. Thank you very much. We're complete. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you feel? I felt like I was looking up when I woke up. Mm. Uh, <laughs> instead of straight forward. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's like that was up. the ceiling. Oh. Let's Thank switch you. these up. Shanghai. Yeah. It's around you. So That's how long cool. do you think this session was? How did it feel to you? Uh, about an hour and fifteen. We're about an hour and fifty. Okay. A lot longer. Mm. What do you remember? I remember the uh, the lake that I started at. Mm -hmm. um, I remember pretty much all of it. Mm -hmm. um, not. The, I remember being pretty like that aware during all of it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like there's anything I don't don't remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I kind of feel it's interesting having watched many videos, mm -hmm. sort of, now I have the perspective of self from within the session. Mm -hmm. How does it differ um, from the observer? Well, you've got the pre-self, pre, pre -self, right, and mm -hmm. then you've got the self during the perspective, during the session. Mm -hmm. Um, and it does differ. Uh, it's 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 not quite what I was expecting, <laughs> um, but it's very natural. Mm -hmm. um, I think what you realize is a lot of your answers you already know. All of your answers, right? <laughs> it's so like, they say all answers are within. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And it sort of helps mm -hmm. get some of your noise out of the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So. It was a pretty interesting session, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it's funny because it's like it fills your life with, what is it, when you're kind of focused on it, you mm -hmm. dwell upon these things and they, they build as well. Mm-hmm. And you also make decisions to not forget, or to forget, depending mm -hmm. on who you are. But yes. um, 
yeah, for me it was very much like never forget, and it's like really, in a sense, you you get your expansion from it, mm-hmm. and you go. You know, it's like there really isn't any need to hold on to those. I think that's mm-hmm. what I I kind of feel now. You feel freer. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is a this is a good place to to sort of what is it to actually slice the anchor lines mm. you know um it's like yeah it's time i think i've sort of known it but it's like i don't know you know it's like i don't know what cause what this what you know and it's like really you may not get to all of that but really the important thing is well, where are you now exactly. and where are you going exactly so yeah. so do you want to keep this private no i think i'm good with that yeah, mm-hmm. share it if it was helpful. I mean, I don't know. It's funny. It's like I watch a lot of other people, so uh, I appreciate that when they mm-hmm. they share it. So certainly. So you want to share it? Mm-hmm. Okay, we can take some private stuff out. Sure. Oh, you're welcome. So, how did it go for you? It was. It was an experience. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Well, that's why I tell people no expectations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So what were you expecting? I think I was expecting more sort of entitic <laughs> activity. Does that make sense? So it's like 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 more different. I, there was sort of more me in here. Mm-hmm. And really what was coming through was more a sort of um, a sort of an unguarded sort of stream. Right. Ooh. So it's sort of and actually, it's not like I haven't been told all these things already. You know what I mean? It's like I should, I should know these answers are fine. But I think here it's like now I kind of feel like I'm at a place of uh, what is it? Completion with it. Mm-hmm. It's like okay. Well, this is you. This is your higher self. And when you start listening to your higher self, and it starts to flow through you, everything is just so much nicer. When you get that ego out of the way and you just allow yourself to flow with this wisdom inside, life is so much easier. Yeah, and I I kind of find, what is it, when you're you're talking about your own stuff, should Mm -hmm. we say, you don't do that as well as when you're talking about other other people's stuff. Of course. Right, so it's, it's a sort of, so in the sense that piece that you were talking about previously about advice, And how you, when you give advice to others, in a sense, it's often advice for you. It's like, oh, I didn't know I thought that. Right. When you're giving advice to to somebody else, usually this wisdom just comes through you. And then you kind of sit back and go, wait a minute. I should be listening to that advice. Right, right. Because it's your higher self that you're channeling. But for you to listen to this. Yeah. Because everybody is a mirror to you, you see. Everybody who's in front of you is your mirror. So as you speak to somebody else, you're actually speaking to yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. And I think, I think, <laughs> I, I think you kind of think your higher self is like way up there somewhere. And actually, actually, your higher self is just, it's actually no more than a couple of steps away. You know, it's and within. I, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. But, a, a, you know, sort of from a, from a mental perspective, it isn't that <laughs> far away. You know what I mean? It's like your higher self is always yeah. is always available. I think that's the way to put it. Yeah. And um, yeah. So I kind well, of I had like... an experience not too long ago where I do automatic writing at night oh, right. before I go to sleep, and and uh, that that night I said, you know, I don't want to talk to my higher self. I want to talk directly to God today. I said, I don't, I don't want to mince words here. I want, I want God to talk to me. And, and basically it starts out, same as always, greetings, child of the universe. We are one. Right. You ask for God. Yeah. And it's, we are one. It's, I am within you. Yeah. You are within me. We are one. Right. And so basically I got a slap on my head saying, remember? Yeah. From God. You are God. God is within you. And so it's the same thing. When we do these sessions, people think that it's going to be coming from somewhere else. No, it's within you. You know, you are your higher self. So all of these answers are within. So what happens a lot of time is when people start doing their questions before they come to a session, a lot of these questions are already answered before they get here. 
Yeah, I got that. Did you get that too? Yeah, yeah, I got that as well. So、mm-hmm. it, was, it was like, because I actually had some of the answers on my other sheet, right, that I didn't bring <laughs> here.、Um, because, you know, you're sort of trying to, you do a lot of processing before you come, or at least, you know, since you shared. And, you know, your questions sort of, so I cut mine down from about 120 to 20. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like, wow. So a lot of those questioning questions,、um, I kind of left out and、yeah. sort of more forward focused and, and cutting the old ties. That,、mm-hmm. that, that was really where I wanted to go. Yeah. And these questions that people bring are really a guideline for this, for this session.、Uh, when you bring the questions, I don't ask them in the order in which they come. It just flows with the process. So the questions are really a guideline to me. So, Less is more because、mm-hmm. then there's a lot more that I can do in a session rather than being worried about having to answer your questions, you know? Well, I cut them back as, as good as I could, but、oh, I, I think I got, cheated a bit. You、uh, think that you got, you I, got what you needed I from the session? I certainly got them back. Yeah, well, no, I think so. Because, again, because it's like, because really what you're doing when, when you're going through your whatever it is、mm-hmm. questions, it's like, because as you process them through, it's like, well, I don't really need to know that. <laughs> and that. Is really、yes. irrelevant, and that's the same as that. And you know, so the, the whole list kind of sort of shrinks down somewhat.、Mm-hmm. But,、um, so how would you recommend other people what, what they should what should they do in order to prepare for a session? Oh,、um, <laughs> I'd say certainly it's like what I did was I kind of wrote out all the all the questions, and I think the ones that come off the top of you know, your, your head are the ones that are you know, the obvious ones, but、mm-hmm. then as you sort of go through, there are things that you remember and you're like, oh my god, there's that and there's that.、Mm-hmm. And then, you know, once you've got a, your big list, it's like then you sort of go through them and you start to realize that some of them are sort of similar,、um, and some of them are the, the same thing, the same area.、Mm-hmm. Um, and then you combine your questions together so you can get two questions in one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point there is it's like, You can get them down, and actually, by the time you've got them down to about 20,、um, you've really kind of dealt with the other questions. That, that's、mm-hmm. what's kind of odd.、Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah,、mm-hmm. I don't really need to know that. I、mm-hmm. think that's it, because you start to realize that there are certain things that you need to know, because、mm-hmm. obviously, if you're coming to see Alba, then there are things you need to know.、Um, but then I think there are other things that are like, you know what? I don't care enough to know. And I think at that point, it's like, cut that anchor. Yeah. Yeah. So, this session, do you feel that that was completely different than what you expected? It's kind of different because I think、I'm, I've kind of been used to these weird out of body experiences, which are sort、mm-hmm. of like they take you in a whole other place.、Yeah. And this was more sort of daydreamy、um, mm-hmm. and sort of more grounded. Yeah, more grounded,、um, but sort of weirdly kind of it, it was sort of weird because it was like you're sort of there, but you're not.、Mm-hmm. Um, but it wasn't like slap in your face type weird, you know? So it's <laughs> like, I think a lot of the stuff that, that I've sort of had experiences from that I kind of expect is, is, it's, it's just a different type of experience.、But、so no、good. expectations, because whatever you're thinking about in your head is yeah, not, probably not going to be what you experience. Even if you've had a hypnosis session before, each one is different. So, even if you've been hypnotized before, each and every experience is unique. So, don't have any expectation. Good? All、Sounds、right. Good. So, if you'd like to have a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. There is a section for signing up to my newsletter. That's the only way I book a session. And、uh, the newsletter comes out about once a month. When it does come out, be ready for it. Click on those links right away. And、uh, that's the only way. You, and, That's,、yeah. how, that's how you got a session. One minute. That's what you got. <laughs> <laughs> the timer is yeah, on. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, get a computer that knows what it's doing as well. Don't be waiting for it to spin. Because that's all the time you're, you're losing、fast. on. It's yeah, fast. Right, right. So I hope I get to meet you in one of my sessions soon. Thank you for watching.